Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video, we'll move further with our Coding Igniter tutorials, and from this tutorial, we'll go a little advanced into Coding Igniter. So, in this video, we'll uh, see about the array helpers in Coding Igniter and how to use array helpers, and what all functions are used in uh, array helpers. So, to start with, I have uh, made a controller named array helper demo and you can see that in my controllers folder so in this controller I'll load a view uh, which I'll just make uh, I have made the blank template for you all guys so that we don't have to waste that much of time so let's start to use any of the helpers uh, in the code igniter uh, as we have discussed in the earlier videos we have to load those helpers so first of all if in order to use array helpers I have to load array helpers so array uh, helper and you can load the array helper by just mentioning array so now we have loaded the array helper and now we can use the functions written inside this helper okay so all the functions which are uh, written inside the array helpers can be used uh, by us so in this video i'll just show you a quick demo of how to use the mostly used functions of array helpers and let's see now for example uh, first of all I need to pass an array in order to test the array helpers so what I'll do is I'll make a array in front of you and let's suppose I'm doing a SEO job for my page so I'll just make three key value pairs and the first one would be meta description meta keywords and uh, the most important thing the title now suppose this is a description and I'm storing it in the form of an array like uh, this is my description of the page and then the then comes the keywords so for keywords let's see this comma is comma a uh, comma keywords let's have a random things and this is my title okay this is my title of the page as well as let's skip it uh, I don't know yeah. I don't know so uh, for example I have a data array and what I'll do is I will load a view okay so I have a view which is array underscore helper underscore view dot PHP right I think I have not spelled it wrong yes and let's remove this and we have passed the data in it okay uh, okay so I just create a key for it like SEO and I just passed the data to it and now I'm going to access this as dollar SEO this is my array dollar SEO now here I'll write an HTML template and this is okay so first of all what we'll do is we'll try to print our SEO so yes we have an array whose key is SEO okay to format it I can use a pre tag. Okay. Now, if I see, you can see it in a better format. 
so I have three keys for my SEO array okay so this is a basic thing I have just passed an array from my controller to the view and now I am going to uh, show you three functions which are mostly used in Codeigniter so the let's uh, see the first function which is an element function okay so this is a function uh, element and this is the first one which we are going to see so now why is this function used so basically in this function I'm going to specify a key uh, this function goes like dollar key and dollar array okay so we'll tell uh, our element function to search for a particular key in a particular array <coughs> excuse me so for example I'm going to pass now I know that my SEO array has certain keys and values so I'm going to pass a key and see what I get in return so for example a meta description from SEO array now let's see what happens now so we can see that our element function has written as the description of that particular page so this is the use of element method you can see that it's element and not elements so it's very important element method and here we have to just specify the key and the array from where we have to fetch okay so this was the first thing and now let's see the second thing which is very nice thing that's like random element there are certain cases uh, in programming where we need random elements of an array so just we have a function predefined function in codeigniter you can use that function to fetch any random elements from your array so for that the parameter which is accepted is random element is a function and just you have to pass an array to it and it will give you the random outputs so you can see that this is a keyword this is my title so you can see that okay again this is my title again it this is my title now it's my description so this is giving me a random result our array is quite small it has only three keys so that's why the probability uh, is very low so we have seen that several times so this is what this was the second function of array helpers and now the third one is elements first was element then we saw random underscore element and now elements so basically what elements function do is write elements we write elements and in element function we have specified the key and the array right so here we'll specify array of keys this is multiple array uh, this is like array of keys so you have to uh, suppose in case there is a case you have to fetch few keys from particular array so we'll not use element function again and again instead we can use elements function by passing it as an array here right so uh, here suppose I pass like meta description okay and I want uh, meta keywords okay from this and this will return me an array which would be a new array what is required actually okay and then we can use our print to print an array now let's see what we get here see that we see that we got a new array which was required 
okay we have this array and now using elements method we have made our own array what is required removing what is not required now for example if I search for a key which is not existing here so it will return me a blank or null values so you can check that and uh, you can do whatever you want in your UI so I hope this video was helpful more videos are coming guys uh, thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubts thank you